Hello, my name is Bob Evans and I am going to give you a quick overview of a king post retaining wall. A king post retaining wall is a cantilever design. The posts are normally steel universal columns and are embedded into the ground. The first step is to have the king post designed by a structural engineer. The soil information determines the size of the section and the embedment depth of the king post. King posts can be driven, vibrated or bored. Once all the posts are installed, the panels are dropped into the channels of the steel posts. The technique for installing the posts is either to drive them or to vibrate them into the ground. If they are going to be vibrated, the ground needs to be suitable for vibration. Alternatively, the posts can be drilled out using an auger. The posts are put into the holes and then concreted in. In all cases, a piling contractor is recommended to carry out the post installation work. The panels can be concrete or timber. Concrete panels can be plain concrete, textured and even colour textured. Plain concrete panels are normally used for industrial situations. King posts are very handy for reinstating, repairing or even renewing existing king, sorry, existing retaining walls. King posts can be built very close to an existing retaining wall and don't take up too much space. We have a king post design table that shows some examples of king posts. They are approximate designs only. The actual section size and embedment design are carried out by a structural engineer using special software that analyzes the soil data and load case. King post retaining walls are very effective at low heights, but become very expensive over 3.5 meters in height due to the section size and depth of embedment. For example, a 3.5 meter high king post, total length of post is nine meters long with an embedment depth of 5.5 meters. Having said that, at low heights, they are very effective. Every design is different. I highly recommend that you go to the retaining wall design page to learn more about the design process. The question everybody wants to know is how much does a retaining wall cost? To answer this question, we have created a retaining wall design and price guide. The guide details all the retaining walls on the website, provides a design guide to allow you to cost out the wall yourself, or you can use our cost table that we have developed. You can use the table to calculate a budget for your project. You can also compare the cost of different wall types. We have a three step process to support you with your retaining wall project. Step one, help you select the right solution for your requirements and budget. Step two, design a solution for your site and soil requirements. Step three, prepare material schedules to obtain competitive prices using our supply chain. The next step is to ask us questions and tell us about your project. We can then support you to deliver it and probably save you some money. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.